Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to use Divi's new animation effects. We'll be exploring creative ways on how to create awesome looking page sections. These animation features are fun and easy to use as you shall see in this mini series. Now when you use the visual builder you can actually see all these animations come to life right before your eyes. So join me as we explore the power of DV animation features. Okay, so we are now on part five of our six part mini series. So what we're going to need here is two images, which should be around 580 by 950 pixels and rotated at 10% counterclockwise angle. The horizontal image should be about 1250 by 608 and also rotated at about 10% counterclockwise angle. But with this image now, we need about 300 pixels extra transparent in the background so that we have enough space on the image. All right, so let's dive in and let's start designing our, our animations. So we're gonna start off from where we left. So we're just gonna add a new section here. So I'm gonna enable the visual builder all the way down to the bottom of my page and add a new section like that. So this section is gonna be regular and we're going to go with uh, these rows here. So it's a quarter, quarter, half. So for now, I'm just going to close this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is to go into our row settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon, click on design, sizing, and we're going to come over here to use custom width, uh, change this to percentage, and let's set this to 90%. And then we're going to come over here to use gutter width, and let's set this to 1%. Now what this use gutter width does is it just reduces the spaces between the columns. Now let's go to our padding. So over here with our spacing, I'm going to come over here to column 2 custom padding and add 5%. And then I'm going to come here to custom column 3 custom padding and add 24%. So with this set, let's go ahead and save and let's start adding all our images. So I'm going to start over here by pressing this plus button to add our first module. And this is going to be our image module. Okay, so I'm going to click upload to upload our image. And I'm going to find my first image, which is already in my media library. So in your case, if you don't have your images in your media library, you need to upload them from your computer. So I'm going to come over here and select my first image and then click upload an image. So you can see here, my image is now added in there. Next, we're going to come over here to design click on sizing and then we're going to force this we're going to force this to go full width next we're going to come over here to our animation and for this animation we are going to use the roll so we're going to roll once and then for the direction we are going to choose right like that so let's come over here to our animation intensity and set this to 16 and the animation opacity starting opacity let's set this to 100 like that next let's go ahead and save and then let's move on to the second column. So here we're going to start off by adding a divider. So I'm going to search for it, click on divider, show divider. We're going to set this to yes. So now let's go to the design tab. So here we're going to start off with our color. So I'm going to click on the color tab and paste my hexadecimal value. Now, if you'd like to use these specific values in the design, you can go to our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so next I'm going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set the weight to 3. And then here for the width, let's set this to 60 pixels. Now with this, we need to type it in. And then for the alignment, let's set this to left. And then we're going to come over here to spacing and add our padding. So for the padding, we're going to add 80 pixels to the top and 80 pixels to the left. Now it's time to adjust our animation. So I'm going to come over here to animation, choose fold. So our animation direction, we're going to set this to right. So we're going to start off with the duration here and set this to 1200. The delay, let's set that to 50. And then finally the intensity, let's set this to 70. And then let's go ahead and save. Right, so let's add our next module. So under the divider module, we need to add a call to action module. So I'm going to search for it, select it. So our title here is going to be 1000 words. Button text, let's set that to learn more. And then I'm going to paste my dummy text in here. And this is just normal lorem ipsum text. 
And then I'm going to come over here to the link because right now you can see for our call to action, there's no button showing. So for us to show the button, we need to add a link over here. So in my case, I'm going to use a blank link. But in your case, if this is a production website, you need to add a proper link that links to your internal page or an external page. So now you can see that as soon as I've entered that, my button is now showing. Now you can see that our background here does not match with any of our branding or any of our design. So let's uh, disable that. So I'm going to come over here to background and select no for the background color. Next, we're going to come over here to, to our design tab, click on text, set this to dark because we can't see it on the background because our background is white and our text is light. So I'm going to set this to dark, align this to the left. And then we're going to come over here to our header text, set this to 38 and bold. And we're going to choose later for our font like that. And let's make it all uppercase. So next over here, we're going to set our header text color. So I'm going to paste my color in here like that. And then for our header letter spacing, we're going to set this to 0.2. And then for our line height, we're going to set this to 1.4. So now we can see that we have uh, enough spacing between our heading and also our text on the bottom. Next, we're going to come over here to our body text, set this to 18. And then we're going to come over here to our body font, set this to Leto, align to the left. We're going to set our body color here. I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value. And then for our line height, let's increase this to about 1.8. Now you can see that our button is um, not in line with our design. So let's go ahead and customize our button. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. So I'm going to select it. So the first thing I want to do here is to set our font uh, size to 18. We're going to add our color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. Now let's add our background button background color. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Now this color is going to be a transparent uh, color. So I am going to highlight what's in between our RGBA values and paste my values in here. Okay, so our border width needs to be set to zero. And for our button letter spacing, we're going to set this to two. So I'm just going to increase this to two. So moving on, we're going to come over here to our button font, make it bold and all caps like that. And let's add a right arrow. But now you can see that our arrow only shows on hover. So we need to disable that. So we have to come over here to the bottom, scroll down a little bit until we find this option here. Only show icon on hover for button. We're going to set this to no. So now we can see that it's always going to be visible. Now let's set our animation style. So we are going to scroll down here until we and then go all the way to the bottom and select animation. So the animation we're going to use here is fold. And then for the animation direction, we're going to set this to right and the duration. This is going to be set to 1200. And then let's come over here to the delay and set this to 50 milliseconds. And then just below that, on the animation intensity, we can set this to 70%. Right, so I think we're all done here. So I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. Right, so now we need to add an image below this call to action. So we're going to come over here, click this plus button to add our image module. I'm going to search for it like that. And then I'm going to select image, click upload. And we're going to select our second image right here. Click upload an image. Okay, so on, uh, under design, we're going to need to come here to sizing and set this to a full width. And then finally, we're going to come over here to our animation. So for our animation style, we're going to choose a roll. But this time, the animation direction needs to be set to left. And then for the intensity, we're going to set this to 13%. And a starting opacity, we're going to set this to 100 Okay, so now that we have set everything here under the animation, we, let's go ahead and save. Right, so finally here we need to add an image a module. So what we're going to do is instead of setting up all our animation styles, we're just going to come over here and clone this. So I'm going to click this duplicate module. So now we can see we have a copy on the bottom here. I'm just going to drag this over to the right. And then all we have to do here is to change this image. So I'm going to come over here to my settings, click on the gear icon, click upload, and I'm going to choose my horizontal image. So I'm going to select it 
and then click upload an image. So now that now our image is now in place. So next we need this divider and call to action below this image. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and save for now. And then we're going to duplicate this as we did before. So I'm going to do that once like that and then drag this into position below the image. And then I'm going to do that same for the call to action. Drag this into position below the divider. And then all we have to do now is to go in and make all our adjustments. So I'm going to start off with the divider. Click this gear icon to get into my settings. Click on design. Come over here to animation. And instead of having our animation direction right, we can set this to left. Okay, and then we're going to save. Okay, so now let's customize our call to action. So we're going to come over here, click the gear icon to enter the settings. We're going to change our title. Come over here to design. So for the custom padding, we're going to add 80 pixels to the top, bottom, and left, like that. Come over here to animation, and then change this from right to left. Okay, so this is our complete design. So let's go ahead and save the page and preview this animation. So I'm going to hit Command S to save. And then we're going to exit the Visual Builder. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see our animation. So there you go. So um, you can actually go and download this particular section on our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.